Hey gun people, uh, got a couple questions about how to um, how to take out the uh, firing pin on a Glock. So this is my Glock 2145. Pull the slide off. Uh, take the spring out. Take the barrel out. Push up on the barrel there. Come right out. So now you have basically your um, uh, slide. So in order to take that off, if you look right inside here, you're going to see right below this pin here is a little plastic bushing. You saw that move back and forth? If I press in right here, this will go down. And then when I pull that back, that's going to click and it's going to move up. Okay? So, when you move that up right in between there, you're going to see a little plastic casing right there. That's what you want to push down. That tension, I'm pushing it down this way, that tension relieves pressure so I can slide this back piece off. Now when you slide this off, I usually keep my thumb from the top down and slide it down so the spring that comes out here, I can stop it with my finger. But it's not that big of a deal. Even if it does fly out, it's a pretty solid spring. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to stick this. I'm trying to get this right in the camera here. So I'm going to stick this right in between here and I'm going to push down and then I'm going to push forward as I'm pushing down. So I'm pushing down and then forward and that will click off. And when that clicks off it relieves this tension of here and it relieves that tension of there. So there's two springs here, a little round one here and this one right here that creates pressure on the back of this piece, that little circle there uh, and then the little hole here. And that's where these two springs pass, and that's what keeps us in here. To release this tension, I need to push down. So then, once you get your back piece off, you simply slide this out, and then you slide this other spring out. Now, what I'm pushing on, when this is sitting inside the sleeve here, when you saw this earlier right here, what you're looking at is this. Now, when this spring comes here, and it it cocks it like that. That's where I'm sticking this. Hopefully you can see it. Try to zoom in just a little bit here. So when this is in this thing, it makes a little gap right there and that's the little piece. So when you're taking this down, I'm sticking this right in between there and I'm pushing this down to relieve the tension on this holding it. This has this little groove right here that this fits into and that's what really holds this piece in so it doesn't slide out until you remove that tension. So when the piece is in there, this won't slide off because of that circle. So that's how you take that off and then you clean inside the tube. Now, um, this part down here somewhat can be tricky. Normally your extractor will pop out as soon as you put pressure on this. So if I press this in, this should just drop out. I'm going to press it in and it dropped right out. If it's really dirty, it won't drop out. You may need to shake it or bang it, but it should drop right out. And then this little piece right here, uh, I've seen people grab pliers, fingers. I usually just press it in, put tension, and let it pop out. And, and then it snaps right out. Now, this little spring in here should be in here the right way to where it stays. If this spring falls out when you turn it upside down, you don't have it in there fall out. There, it's not in there right. So this spring should be in there, and when I put my spring in, if I press hard, you'll hear it click. See, it didn't stay in, so it's not in there. Switch to the other side, press it in there, and that stayed. And that's the way it should be when it goes in there. So when you put it back, make sure your spring stays. If your spring's falling out and you're messing with it, you don't have it in the right way, and you haven't, like, pushed it in and made it seat and click. So, uh, and those are the problems when people put back. Then you want to clean this area, down this hole, and down this chute. Now there is a plastic sheath in the middle of this sheath that normally doesn't come out, but sometimes somebody will pull uh, a brass and they'll try to stick that in there. You don't need to do that. It'll hook and it'll pull out that plastic thing. If it comes out, just slide it back in. It's a complete solid. It'll only go in one way. It doesn't matter. Back forward, it only goes in. So if you end up with an extra plastic sheath in there, you can pull it out. I haven't pulled this one out. And it doesn't look like it wants to come out unless I go all the way in. Um, so let me hook this on a little. See if I can screw this in. 
and get this nice and deep in there and see if I can pull that little tube out that I'm talking about. And it doesn't want to come out, so that's good. Uh, maybe Jock fixed it. In the older models, that would come out pretty easy. So anyway, once, once you get that in there, uh, I usually use a Q-tip with a little oil on it. And uh, just get on in there and give that a good cleaning all the way in. You should be able to see the Q-tip in this little hole right here. So when I'm, I'm going to zoom back out here just a little bit to make sure I'm on here. So if you look right in this little hole, you should see my Q-tip coming in and out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. And then so obviously I've put a few rounds through here since the last time I cleaned it. It's a little dirty. Then I'm going to clean this hole a little more dirty. And then I'm going to come in the same hole over here. Again, you can be able to see it. And just clean this out. And then it's ready to put back together. So I'll put a little oil on this. Not a big deal. I don't think you can over oil. My guns stay pretty clean. I'm not worried about being a dust collecting. Some people would wipe that off, say it's too much oil, but whatever. So when putting this back in, remember your, your extractor on one side, it's round and on the other side is where it actually hooks the bullet. This is the side that hooks the bullet right there. So as your gun goes forward, it hooks that round out, pulls it into the ejector and it throws it out. So this side I don't do much with because that's at factory and I don't want to mess it up. The most I'll do with that is get a Q-tip in there and give it a good cleaning to make sure it's clean. Now when it goes back in, obviously if it's pulling the bullet, you don't want the side that's pulling the bullet in the back here. And it won't even go in right. It just looks stupid and cockeyed if you put it in that way. So it really only goes in one way, the round side toward the back of the slide and the ejector toward the front. And it should slide right in. It'll look just like it did before you took it out. So, once I have that in there, I'm going to put this in, and this should hold it. Now, you saw it fell out. I'm going to shove this in first. And you need to put a little pressure on there when you put that back in so it'll hold it. So now I'm going to slide this in. If I try to slide it in with this, it won't go all the way in. So what I need to do is I'm going to push a little pressure here, and now it's going to hold it because the spring is holding it. And then that's good to go. When you're putting this pin back in, this one that you pull down here, this is what's holding the back of the extractor. And, and Glocks, they want plastic to plastic and metal to metal. So I've seen Glocks that I've taken apart, the pin's in there like this. And since this piece is plastic, that means I'm going plastic to metal and that's not good. I want plastic to this plastic piece. This side has a little white plastic piece. That's the side that goes to the plastic end. So it always goes in metal to metal. This is a metal extractor, so I want metal on there. I don't want plastic on there. So metal to metal, I slide this in a hole, and that's going to keep that extractor. That's there. Then I take my uh, firing pin and holding all that. I slide that back in. And now that that's in there, uh, I'm going to have to push these two down. I'll come back up just a little bit here so you can see the top that I'm working on. So now I'm going to have to push these down. And this is probably the trickiest part. This slides right in, but it won't slide over this piece right here until I push it down. Now, using this, if you get it right here in the corner, you can do it. I like using something a little bit wider like this that I can just go in there. All I want to do is I'm pushing down this plastic piece right here so this thing can slide in. You see that thing going in and out? I had my uh, little toothbrush somewhere and that worked pretty good. So I'm pushing in that. See that thing? That's what I got to push in to get this over it. So then I slide this in while I'm pushing and then it holds it in once I get in a little bit of a way. And then I need to push that little piece in and I need something the same size as that to push that in. So I'm going to take this and push that down, and then this piece should slide right on back in and click on in there. I don't know if you saw that. I was a little high. I'll take that out again. I'm going to stick it right underneath here. Pull down, press forward. It's out. Um, now I'm going to put my back plate 
firing pin retainer, some legal term, uh, whatever it is. I'm going to push down this so it'll slide. Then after I push that in a little bit, I need to push that down. So I'm going to push that in. And then that'll slide. Clicks in there nice and solid. It won't come out. I try to push it out. It won't come out. And then I need to check and do a function check here to make sure this works. So this pin should not go down unless I depress this firing pin safety and then it will go down. So if I depress this and then press here, it should go down and then it comes back up. It goes down and when it comes back up, that will pop into place. I know it's working correctly. And that's how, change the light there in case somebody didn't see it. goes down, pops back up. That pops out. I know my, it's working correctly. So somebody asked me to detail because I did that kind of quick on how to pull those parts out and clean that. That's how you remove the firing pin from a Glock and clean that housing. Uh, primers and all kind of stuff get in there so it does need to be cleaned periodically. At a minimum I'd say clean it once a year. If you want to clean it every time you shoot you can do that too. It's not a big deal. And uh, that's about it. Slide the barrel back in. Put the spring back in. Plastic. <laughs> Nothing ever goes easy when I'm trying to keep it in camera. <laughs> Put the spring back in. Slide it on. And it should be working. Do always do a function check on any gun you put together, take apart. You squeeze the trigger to make sure it works. Pull it back again, make sure it resets. Squeeze it again. Hold it back. Pull it back. Make sure you get a trigger reset. Click. And then squeeze it. That's how you do a function check to make sure you put it back together and everything works properly. If the trigger cocks, if it fires, if it resets, and then fires, you know you put the gun back together. Alright, we'll end that there on... Uh, Taking out the firing pin on the Glock. Hope that helps.